getting some <laughs> Welcome blood back to moving. AM Buffalo. <laughs> We are here with Michael Adrianson, environmental educator. Okay. I can't do any laps. What's happening so right now? We're doing some up. stretches. Yeah, we're here. getting warmed up. You know, we've been out here for a while. We're cold. Our jaws aren't working so well. So, you know, part of cross country skiing is getting warmed up before you get going. Okay, oh, so help see? us out here, yeah. Michael. What do that we need to do? Well, I think you're doing, you're doing just fine. Yeah. We're doing good? All right. Some, some knee bends because it felt a little creaky for a yeah. while there. My knees. <laughs> My knees might have felt frozen in place there. But now we're ready. So what is the first step? When you have some newbies coming in yes. to learn cross-country skiing, what are the first steps to get them acclimated to this new sport? Uh, well, you know, getting sized up for the boots that you're going to wear, getting sized mm -hmm. up for the skis. Yep. Um, these are children's skis. I'm just using them because it's easier to show. Is it because we're short? No. Is that what you're <laughs> <laughs> but if you were to go take a look in any attic in Buffalo, chances are you're going to find an old pair of skis that look like this. Mm -hmm. One of those old three pin bindings, you know, back popular in the 60s and the 70s. <laughs> yeah. We have uh, a lot more modern equipment nowadays. Um, NNN style binding. So they, we're wearing this style boot with this style binding. Um, there's a little uh, rod in the bottom, or uh, yeah, rod in the bottom of the, the boot, mm -hmm. and that'll fit into the slot in the binding there, and then it hinges. So if you downhill ski, this is a lot different. Um, you're in downhill skiing. Your your heel is completely fused to yeah. the binding, whereas this your heel lifts. So that ah. could be uh, a little bit of an adjustment for some people when they're first starting out. Yeah. Um, the bottoms of the skis, um, they're not perfectly smooth. They're oh. sort of a cheese grater yeah. uh, texture, sort of fish scale. So in this direction, it's really rough. In this direction, it's really smooth, um, and that works for when you're skiing. Um, you'll put your weight down on one of the skis and sort of push yourself forward and that'll allow you to dig into the snow um, to help move you forward. You'll also notice probably that there's a little bit of a curve to the ski. Um, when it's laying flat, it'll glide across the snow and then when you push your weight on it, it's going to compress that ski and dig those fish oh, scales okay. into the snow. Okay. So this is great. What are we looking at with these? Uh, these are the poles. Mm -hmm. You know, they're pretty basic. Uh, these all our equipment is classic cross country skis. They're waxless, so you don't have to apply wax. Really low maintenance. Uh, the poles, there's the handle up here. And then on the bottom, there's a basket and a little pointy job there to help dig into the snow to push you along. You were saying a lot of people use them like walking sticks, but that's not yeah. the way you're supposed yeah, to Yeah, you use don't it. really want to do that. Um, yeah, Michael, you messed up my plans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's 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 typical for beginners, you know, they're yeah. getting Doing all this. crazy wide stance. Their poles are way out because they're a little nervous, but yeah. you know, I've seen you out here, you're experts already. Oh so, yeah, all right. You know, okay. what I anticipate, no falling at all, all right? Yep, yep. And, uh, <laughs> Only about 94% of people their first time out skiing will fall, but I think you're going to... You said only 94% yeah. fall? Okay. I just wanted to make sure I heard you the right way. I just I just wanted to make sure you guys heard what I heard. Okay. But yeah, they're not walking sticks. When you're um, using the poles, they're going to be right at your side, a little bit angled behind you. Yeah. And it's going to be an opposite body motion. So think of like if you're running or jogging or ice skating, if you're an ice skater, you know, cross country skiing is really, really easy. Um, it takes a little bit of balance. You guys have balance, yep, right? Yep. Yeah. A little bit of <laughs> athleticism. You're athletic, right? Yeah, yep. I would say All so. Right. Yeah. So no yeah. problem. No problem. Yep. All right. So yeah, it's going to be an opposite body motion. So when your right hand goes forward, your left foot's going to come forward. So pretend there's a string attached to the two of them. So it's that opposite body motion. All and right. that gives you balance. If you're, you know, a lot of people, they're, they'll start doing like one of those like tin soldier yeah, yeah. type of things. <laughs> yeah. And it, yeah, it so doesn't work so well. So, so coming up next, Michael is going to give us, we're yeah. going to give it a go. Yeah. We're going to give it a go. So stay with us. Yeah. Emily, you're doing it too, right? Because when we return from the break, we'll be on skis. Don't go anywhere. This is something you are not going to want <laughs> to miss. This is live TV, folks. Yeah. You, you could see anything. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.